Continuing on with our series parallel circuit combinations, uh, we're going to have a look at a, a little bit more of a complex circuit. And as you can see here, um, we've got a power supply, um, we've got a range of resistors in, you know, in various orders. Now the important part about breaking this down and bringing it down to its final resistance um, is, is like the early ones that we had a look at, we started from this end and we worked our way back towards the supply end. You can see here that the first stage here, we've got two resistors in series um, and we know from, you know from previous calculations that we just need to add those together and that's what we've done here. So we've got 100 ohms plus 100 ohms which is R6 and 7. You can see here we've got uh, R6 plus R7 and that will give us our new resistance which is now 200 ohms. The next step is to break this section down. You can see here we've got two resistors in parallel and the value of R5 is 200 ohms and the value of the original R6 and R7 is 200 ohms. We've now renamed that R6 just to follow through with the numbering convention from this side. And we know that in um, right, parallel circuits if, you, if the two resistances are the same value um, you just need to um, Right, divide that value by the number of resistors which is 2 and you end up with our final result which is R5 in parallel with R6 and our final result is 100 ohms. So we've gone from here to here um, you know, we've got that final result of 100 ohms and we've got R4 if you look at R4 up here it's also 100 ohms and we're looking at this green circle here we're combining these two resistors and they're in series with each other so we can combine that so it's just R4 plus the new R5 which is this red value here. And if you add those together 100 plus 100 gives you 200 ohms. So we've got to this point um, we've got a, a single resist, um, resistor here and we've got two resistors in series here so what we need to do here is sort this out first this R2 R3 and join it in with this one later on. So if we move up to the top here um, you can see that we've got R2, R3, R2 plus R3 if you can see here they're both one's 200 one's 400 ohms so if we add those two together we now have 600 ohms in in that combination. Now the next thing we need to do is obviously these two resistors in parallel will bring us down to this area. We've got the new R2 and the new R3. Uh, you've got 600 ohms in parallel with 200 ohms. Now, because there's two resistors, you can use the formula we used earlier, which is the product over the sum, and you can find out the new value, which we found out here, which is 150 ohms. So now we can complete the right, the final part, which will give us our total resistance for this whole circuit here. And if we look at that, we've got R1 and the new R2 um, in series with each other. So now you have 200 ohms in series with 150 ohms. We could get a total value of 350 ohms, and that's right the resistance of this right complete circuit here. So we're down to 350 ohms. We've got a power supply, and if we put a voltage to that now, we could actually work out write the total current draw of that circuit. So the objective of this is basically to show you how to break a bit more complex circuit down. And as you can see here, if you do it in stages and draw it up, especially when you're first learning, all right, you won't get yourself lost in what you're actually doing and you can get down to where you need to be, right? As I said before, now we can calculate the right the total current leaving right the supply and coming back into the supply but in doing that um, you, you can then calculate right the voltage drop here you can then calculate your currents running through this branch you're going to have another voltage drop here um, and then currents running through these two branches as well so you can, can you can calculate voltage current and finally power right for this entire circuit and for each of the individual right resistors in that circuit.